good day. My name is Gabriel and this is the Trending Views. News around the world. Angolan president has apologized to victims and families of those killed in the May 1977 massacre and asked for their forgiveness on behalf of the government. Thousands, including many of the country's young intellectuals and party activists, were imprisoned, tortured and killed following a split in the governing people's movement for the liberation of Angola party. Amnesty International says 30,000 people died in the porch. Some say as many as 90,000 were killed. In his address to the nation, the president termed the killings by government forces as a great evil. The United States has imposed visa restriction on people accused of inciting violence in English-speaking Western Cameroon. The Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, says the U.S. was deeply consigned by the continued violence in the English region of Cameroon. We condemn those who undermine peace through engaging in or inciting violence, human rights violations and abuses, and threats against advocates for peace or humanitarian workers, he said this on Monday. Nigeria is in discussion with Twitter and having suspended the social media platform over the weekend. After meeting diplomats, Foreign Minister Geoffrey Oyema said the government will see how negotiations progressed before making any further decisions. In their latest move against Twitter, the authorities have ordered broadcasters to deactivate their account. Western diplomats have criticized the suspension, saying free speech is a key part of democracy. The European Union has warned that it will issue Ghana a yellow card should the country consistently fail to tackle the menace of illegal fishing. The yellow card is an official warning issued by the EU to its trading partners falling short of tackling illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing. The World Health Organization today validated the Sinovac coronavac COVID-19 vaccine for emergency use. For more news stories, visit 4 My name is Gabriel and this is the Trending News.